Welcome to DJI Headquarters. My name is Irving, Solutions Engineer at DJI Enterprise. Today, I'm very excited to introduce the new generation of Zhongya Box, DJI Dock 2. But before we dive into the new product details, I want to talk about the journey that brought us to this moment. In March 2022, we launched the DJI Dock, which is our first ever Zhongya Box solution. The slogan for road less traveled represents our expectation, making remote drone operation possible in most challenging environments. Since then, my team has put in countless hours and passion into dog product, and it's all in an effort to bring up better, smarter, and more efficient solutions for DJI customers. Up to now, DJI Dog has been shipped to over 50 countries, and more than 6.5 million flights has been completed globally. And our engineer works side by side with Dock One end user to understand their true needs to provide the even better solution. And today I'm very excited to introduce the results of our efforts. DJI Dock 2, easy operation, superior results. Now let's dive into what makes Dock 2 a game changer. The first impression when seeing Dock 2 is the compact design. It only weighs 34 kilograms with a footprint of 0.34 square meters, making it easy to transport and deploy. Taking a closer look, you will notice that we have improved the wiring system with new connectors to facilitate installation. Similar to Dock 1, we have integrated weather station to ensure real-time environment data collection. And we have made the docking system IP55 rating to withstand harsh weather conditions. However, throughout our experience with customers, we realized it's not only about mission conditions, but also about how quick you can deploy your drone. Especially when we talk about the drone as first responder programs. That's why we cut down the takeoff time to approximately 45 seconds. To be able to quickly take off and land precisely, we have integrated next generation image recognition algorithm with RTK positioning techniques. Another clear difference you will notice is that we don't have the pusher to center the drone. They were replaced by the V-shaped landing platform. When the drone land, it just slides down and when the dock closes, it pushes the drone to the center. Wireless charging models are under the center of landing platform and can charge the drone from 20 to 90% in 32 minutes, a simple effective system with reduced moving parts and more reliable operations. Furthermore, we realized the first dock user had some challenges during the site serving process, which resulted in users spending hours scouting and testing for the right dock installation location. To overcome these challenges and to streamline the dock to deployment process, we have integrated a new feature called site selection. Before deployment, you can place the aircraft and the intended dock site to let it evaluate the location using visual sensors and GNSS information. In just 10 minutes, the aircraft will provide a feedback to this location suitable for dock to deployment. As you might have noticed, we are also introducing a new series of aircrafts along with new dock, Meet the Matrice 3D and the Matrice 3TD, a new series of drones that we have specifically designed for dock 2. The Matrice 3D, equipped with a 20 megapixels wide angle camera featuring a mechanical shutter, is your go to for routine high precision mapping tasks. Whereas the Matrice 3TD, integrates both RGB and infrared camera, offering both visible light and thermal imaging capabilities for undemanded situational awareness and inspection tasks. Lastly, both drones are integrated with RTK model to provide a 3cm positioning accuracy, improving operation performance and quality. Hardware advancements are the key, but we also put a lot of effort to improve our software and customer experience. FlyHub 2, our drone operation management platform, is designed to enhance your pilot experience with advanced features. Starting from mission planning, DJI FlyHub 2 provides our first-person perspective to set waypoints 
and preview your mission outcomes with simulated imaging. Additionally, it also supports creating mapping missions. Similar to the area mapping function on DJI Pilot 2, now you can simply select the area of interest, mission type, and send it to Dock 2 for data collection. During the flight mission, you are able to share live stream feed with other teams via a QR code or a link, streamlining cross-team collaboration with real-time information. Once the collection is completed, you are also able to conduct cloud reconstruction directly on FlyHub 2 to create high-precision 2D maps or 3D models, digitalizing your operational environment in detail. All collected data, including images, maps, models, and respective annotations, can be easily shared online, facilitating efficient communication and project management. For maps created at different times, it's possible to make model comparisons to easily visualize site changes over time. It could be used to track progress of a construction site or monitor the changes before and after a landslide. In order to enable the adoption of dock solutions, we need to provide enhanced safety features, especially when we talk about beyond visual light of sight operations. To improve the flight safety, we've integrated DJI AirSense on FlyHub 2, meaning users will be notified about nearby manned aircraft to avoid any potential collision risks. Furthermore, you are able to draw a custom flight area on FlyHub 2, and the dock drone will be restricted to fly only within the intended operation area. At DJI, we prioritize data security at all levels of drone operations, from how the data is collected all the way to how it is transmitted and stored. That's why we chose US-based AWS Cloud Database to host our FlyHub2 system, ensuring reliable and secure data storage. Additionally, our information security management system has been certified with ISO 27001 standard the leading international standard for information security management, thus reassuring our commitment to follow the best industry practice when it comes to data security. For customers with specific industry needs, we have also provided a cloud API to allow ecosystem partners to create their own software platform for DOC2. Customers can manage the DOC operations or the data collected with DOC with their preferred software solutions. Now that we have covered the main features of DOC2, let's talk about how these solutions could benefit the industry professionals like you. For first responders, the quick takeoff and extended flight time makes DJI DOC2 an ideal solution for emergency response operations. For professional surveyors and construction companies, thanks to Matrix 3D camera, and the mapping features of FlyHub 2, the DJI Dock 2 will open new possibility for construction management. For assets owner or inspectors, with a reduced size and weight, it will be easier to deploy the DJI Dock 2 for routine assets inspections of substations, solar farms, or other infrastructures. One good example is the case of Endesa, the leading energy companies in Spain and one of our DOC2 key beta testers. During the test, they utilized the DJI DOC2 for comprehensive assets inspections, including solar panels, substations, and transmission lines, showcasing DJI DOC2's adaptabilities and efficiency in the energy sector. Next, I would like to invite Director of Drone Operation at Endesa to share his experience and insights from four months DOC2 testing. Hello everyone, and thank you Irving for your words, and thank you DJI for letting us to be part of this presentation of what I consider to be one of the most important products in the market, and one that will define a new area in the industrial drone sector. During these last four months, we've been working very hard hand in hand with DJI in two lines. Firstly, looking for use cases of this solution in the energy sector, and on the other hand, in the development and improvement of the product. So 
we can say that we are part of this story. In the first phase, we have used the DOC2 as a daily working tool in the Teruel Thermal Power Plant that is in this modeling process. And in our second phase, we have been testing and looking for the use cases of DOC2 in CDS5, that is a solar power plant. The main use cases we have worked on the thermal power plant has been 2D and 3D mapping to monitoring the demolition and take some measurements. Automatic flies to take some picture from different angles to obtain a graphical repository and use all this material in the meeting and the internal presentation to share all the works. Surveillance flights and perimeter patrol to complement the security on the entire site area. Real-time monitoring activities by sharing the streaming with colleagues from different departments and our contractors, allowing us to make decisions in a very short time on risk activities or activities that are very difficult to access. Detailed inspections based on 3D models allowing us to plan and execute complete operation at our thermal plants, for example, without having experienced pilots in the field to create this operation and execute the flypads. On the other hand, the main activities we have carried out in the second phase of our project has been thermograph inspection from the creation of flight routes with a different flight configuration, execution of this operation, and the analysis by specialized companies from Spain and China. High voltage line inspection, digitalizing the lines with the L2 LiDAR to use it like a base map for operation planning, and the use of AI spot check tool that we have in FlyUp2 to improve the accuracy of data capture. Substation inspection with automated flight and remote manual flight simulation for an emergency inspection. In this case, we tested the capability of a Matrix 3 Thermal Dog Drone to generate a 3D model of the substation even though it's not a drone designed for this purpose and we achieved very good result to use it as a base map for generation of automated routes. Perimeter patrolling for surveillance, checking the condition of a perimeter fence, checking the structural condition of the security cameras and weather station that is installed in the solar plant, and so on. Finally, we simulated the inspection of a city to see the possibilities of integrating in the future the DOC2 plus FlyHav2 solution with our internal management system of our power generation asset. And we show that it can be a very valuable tool as it can help us to prevent failures or provide us with detailed information about the status of our plants and make decisions faster, resulting in improved production performance. But I don't only want you to have the technical point of view of a professional in the drone sector, I think it's also good that you know Ignacio Santalla, head of Operation and Maintenance Improvement, and Paco Molina, head of Industrial Risk and Cross Technology Improvement, who have played a very important role in this project and have given us unconditional support to make it possible. Este proyecto entre Endesa, líder en el sector energético y DJI, líder en el desarrollo y fabricación de drones es una prueba de nuestro compromiso con la excelencia en la búsqueda de un futuro energético sostenible. Creemos que este es un paso significativo hacia nuestra misión de brindar un servicio aún más eficiente y sostenible a todos nuestros clientes. And finally, I would like you to meet another fundamental part in the project, Javier Rodríguez, 
who has been participating in the project, monitoring all the aerial operation in the field to ensure the safety of the whole project. Thank you. Son muchos los casos de uso a los que hemos sometido al DOCTOS y en todos ellos fueron satisfactorios los resultados. Una vez más, DJI no deja de sorprendernos. Gracias, Samuel, for your insightful sharing. And a huge appreciation goes to the Endesa team for the cooperation and the trust. And to all of our test partners around the world who have expanded the possibilities of DJI Doc 2 and provided invaluable feedback for product improvement. There are many scenarios and applications yet to be tested. We can't wait to learn more from our users in the next few months. Thanks for watching this in-depth presentation of DJI Doc 2. If you wish to learn more about how this solution could benefit your organization, make sure to check our website, enterprise.dji.com, or reach out to our official DJI Enterprise dealer in your country. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and follow DJI Enterprise official channel for stay updated with the latest drone trend.